front. So uh, this is going to be Libra Sun Moon Iron as well rising weekly general tarot reading uh, January twentieth to January twenty sixth, uh, twenty twenty. And uh, in this video, I'm going to do some different guys uh, because a lot of you requested just general readings and it doesn't get any general than that. Uh, what I mean is that instead of using spreads, as uh, most of you are familiar seeing me doing, uh, in this video, I'm just going to do, I'm just going to go by with strings. What, what that means is that I'm going to draw seven cards, no specific positions, whatever they show, they show. So it doesn't get any general than that. And uh, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below and there you are going to find a, um, a link to my website. So that set aside, the cards well shuffled. Let's have a look uh, what you have in store here, Libra. So we are opening here for the week with a, a person. Now, Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, um, it is fairly early into the reading to say how this is going to play out. Probably at the end of the reading, I'm going to tell you my conclusion of it. But the Queen of Pentacles usually appear into one's life to breed in confidence into one's, you know, personal insecurities, if I may say it that way, and to help to one individual um, to uncover their maximum potential, especially upon the uh, enterprises that they are currently working. So the way I see it, this thing opening opens for you guys, that is a person and individuals, an individual that comes around and by them being around, giving you guidance, advice or helping you with anything, your confidence gets boosted by a lot. And together with the Queen of Pentacles as well, um, you are to kind of redefine your true value, which means that you're going to think more of yourself, okay? And as well, you are going to uncover a potentials of yourself and of your current situations heretofore unexplored. Now, another way uh, how the Queen of Pentacles may play out for you, it is a, a person that comes around helping you to stabilize. That is especially true if you are going through a certain crisis. Now, the next one here is going to be the Two of Cups. So with the next card, it is the card of love. Everybody knows that. But it's also the card of a um, partnerships or a, a, a mutual enterprises. So that being said, maybe if you are not, not confident that you are going to find a person to be with, maybe that's your, uh, maybe that's your week here with those two cards. But the thing with the two of cups is that it does require a mutual contribution. What I mean is that both people, they need to do their part into a either existing partnership, existing relationship, you know, or, or future relationships, attempts to make a partnership and relationships. Uh, these two people, they need to do their equal parts. It cannot just only the one to kind of like tries to uh, pull out the weight for the two people. Now, additionally to that, the two of cups is the card that urges you to deprive yourself from um, shyness, for example, um, what was the other word here? A pride as well. So whenever you want to be with someone, just put your shyness and pride on the shelf and just go there and do what it takes to be with them. Same thing goes about business partnerships. Now on the more practical level, uh, as we said, the two of cups points that you are going to experience love throughout the week. For example, if you are single, you're definitely going to find someone you can love and they can love you as well. If you are in an existing relationship, then there will be love sprawling around and also love into your work environment. Everybody is going to love you. That's that's awesome, isn't it? And it, it will want to cooperate with you. So the next one uh, is going to be the Hierophant. Now, Hierophant it is an important card. Uh, it's mainly because... Um, it kind of tells us a couple of things now. First thing uh, that tells us it is that whatever kind of like insecurities and problems problems you are facing with yourself, with your ex with your stuff in general, they can definitely be uh, resolved by diving into the existing framework. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel here. You don't have to discover the hot water. It is already around. So that card itself speaks 
you have everything you need to fix your relationship, to fix your uh, marriage, for example, to, to be successful with your career. But you don't have to be, you shouldn't, how can I say, you shouldn't play the genius here, all right? You just go through through the established path already. Now, another thing with the Hierophant card is, is that throughout the week, we already saw that you are going to have a benevolent support by someone, and that someone, it is the Queen of Pentacles here, helping you to discover your true values and your um, not yet maximized potential. How, well, now we can see how with the Hierophant through a very profound and meaningful deliberations and conversations, almost like it's going to be a, a mentor of yours. <coughs> I'm sorry. And uh, the topic, it is very likely to be the love of your life. Now, next one here for you, Libra, that will be the Ten of Cups, another card of love, obviously, that we do have. And uh, with this one, um, how can I, how can I say it? Now with this one, it does look like that uh, uh, this week itself, the way that it turns out, you are going to be quite of a um, happy, right? And uh, at certain point, it will seem that it it was ever it is everything that you have ever wanted. Now the thing with the, with the ten of cups, however, it is that uh, our human nature kind of takes a, a big role in here, and uh, mm, the human nature of of us the humans it is that no matter how much we have we rather soon get used to it and we always strive for more so this card here it is a reminder that whatever achievement you get throughout the week either love or a good partnership you find your true values and so on and so forth well, it doesn't have to stop here. As a matter of fact, with this card, that is a confirmation that you are going to increase not just only your value, but also the worth of your life. Because it is what the Ten of Cups is all about. That your life, all of a sudden, or slowly, progressingly, it starts worth living again. Most likely, I'm saying most likely, because usually this is what is associated with the card, is that you are going to be happy of what you have, but not in this case, in this case, it's going to be most likely it's because you're going to be happy of what you find. And from now on, it is to you to manifest what you're going to find. And as we saw with the second card, most likely you're going to find love. Either amplifying an existing one or it's just a brand new one. Does it really matter? I mean, you're going to be loved to be loved, isn't it? So... Um, Next one, which is the fifth card here, that is to be the King of Swords. Now, we do have another person. King of Swords. Uh, it's th This one is quite difficult to get into the same page with. It is because they are very clever. Uh, the word is not exactly smart. They are very, very clever. And they always kind of like their um, reasons and um, the reasons behind the actions they do uh, very often doesn't make any sense. Uh, because they're like chess players. It's like uh, they think few moves ahead, okay, of everybody. And, and they are um, surpassing the situation as well. So at some point, uh, tackling with this one here, which is the King of Swords, it kind of may baffle you and it may aggravate you as well. It's kind of understandable. But uh, the King of Swords may play a quite of a, a vital role here for you, Libra. Now, the first person helps you to discover your true potential that's great you know now the question is how you're going to unfold it right how well this is where this one comes from or, or this is where the, this one here the king of swords steps in because king of swords always can transform um plans i would say that way plans into a, a very powerful not powerful uh, effective Effective was the, was the word I was searching for. So effective actions and as well, whatever difficulties are anticipated through a, a deliberation with the King of, uh, of Swords, um, the, way, uh, the way through those uh, difficulties is to be revealed. So uh, in reality, you are anticipating something bad to happen. And before it happens, you already have the solution. So that's not a bad thing at all. It's uh, What I mean is that the, the, uh, the puzzle is not going to be a puzzle. The difficulty is not going to be a difficulty. So it's kind of like this week it looks like a, uh, 
uh, a preparation for something big that is uh, awaiting you behind the corner here in the next few months, for example, or in the next few weeks, and you are going to supplement your state or your position here with an, an extraordinary uh, feeling that you are not alone in it, right? With this um, higher of um, hermit, not not hermit, excuse me, hierophant and uh, two of cups. I'm sorry, guys, a bit uh, a bit tired. So uh, next one is going to be the six card for you, Libra, and that is going to be the four of swords. Uh, it's kind of like we are going to a conclusion of the reading. And this card is very positive because it does point that whatever you're going to talk about with the King of Swords and with the Queen of Pentacles, it's simply going to ease your mind and your confidence while is going to be boosted at the start, uh, is going to be in the process of boosting at the start of the week. Now we are seeing it quite boosted because uh, with this card, it is likely that you have already found whatever solution you needed. It is already how you have already found your, your path on moving forward forward. Four of Swords points that whatever discussions you have, they always are going to be fruitful throughout the week and as well they are going to reach to a certain resolution that you do require. So also Four of Swords, it is kind of like a confirmation that there is no trouble or there is no problem that you cannot find a solution to or at. So again, uh, this week kind of feels like a, a preparation for a big things to take place into the next week that are moving forward from this one. And it's kind of like you need to take your time, especially with this King of Swords. Uh, Swords, it's it's like you have to listen. All right, at the start, your ego and your pride could be a t uh, could be uh, kind of like um, touched by his words, because he is sharp in tongue, he's not gonna take easy on you, not by, not by a large margin here. But it is why the Two of Cups says that you have to put your pride and also shyness on the shelf. Shyness, so you can ask what you're doing wrong, and pride, so you can accept the criticism. And the last card that we do have, it is the uh, Seven of Cups for you, Libra. Fantastic finalization here. Seven of Cups is the card, especially in this narrative with the previous cards. It is that things you thought important things you have thought impossible to be achieved now kind of like uh, the uh, idea of how you're gonna get there it's shaping in your mind i mean you're not quite there yet you're not quite at the ver of at the place that you can say okay so i know how to do it but you are getting there things are becoming clearer and clearer into your head for example, clearer and clearer how to save your marriage, clearer and here, clearer how to become successful in your marriage, clearer and clearer how to become successful into your career or to save your career. So uh, again, a quite of an, an important week for you. And uh, at the start of the week, if you have been deprived from any kind of hope, all right, you are bereft from a, uh, uh, let's say, reason, to move on forward, don't you worry guys, Libra, you're gonna have one and it's gonna be given to you by these, by these two individuals for the very least that you are gonna see how one of them kind of cares for you deeply, all right? And you're gonna be pleased and you're gonna love that you have found that. So that being said, Libra, this was your weekly general tarot reading for January 20th to 26, 2020. Once again, I seldom do those kind of readings, guys, moving into string. And just let me know in the comments down below, how do you find it? Do you like it or do you or you do not like it? So I know how to move on forward with the channel. It's kind of like an experiment here that I'm doing, but unless I don't ask my audience and I don't show my audience what I can do and how I can do it, then I will never know how should I move forward. All right. So yeah, that being said, this was the reading and hopefully you enjoyed it here and uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.